Welcome to Close Up on America's Business, the program that takes you inside some of the most unique and successful companies in America. I'm Janice Marie. On each edition of our show, you have the opportunity to meet some of the most innovative business leaders in the country today. You'll find out what their products, services, technologies, and business models can do for you, and what they're doing to change our world and to change the way we do business. When you stop to think about it, it's absolutely amazing how advancements in technology have changed our lives practically on a daily basis. A case in point, take the field of dentistry. It's amazing how technology has changed what dentists can do these days and the impact it has had on their patients' lives. A great example can be found right here in the heart of Kearney, New Jersey at the Mid-Atlantic Institute for Laser Dentistry. As you are about to learn, the laser has changed many of the most common procedures the dentists perform. The owner of this unique family practice is Dr. Joseph Travato. I'd rather see eight or ten patients in a day, spend a little time with those patients, less diagnostic mistakes that way, and I believe the overall comfort level of the patient goes up. The prime focus of the practice is health. We do look at the, the tone of the lips, the tone of the chin, the overall structures of the face. There are things we can do to change all of that. Orthodontically, I can move a jaw forward if I have to. I can move the upper lip back. I can surgically alter the smile line if I need to. I could work with Botox and fillers to change the face. People today, they don't want to just have a pretty smile. They want that smile to look good in the framework of their lips and the framework of their face. It's a matter of education. And you've got to spend the time with someone to say, look, these are the areas you're missing. This is what's going to happen if we don't keep this clean. This is a tool you can use to maintain that area. And then monitor that to make sure that they're actually able to do a good job keeping that area clean. Through becoming a busy mom, I haven't gotten to the dentist in seven years. So I had, a, I had neglected my teeth, I had a lot of work to be done, and I just felt it was time. So I researched some dentists in the area, and I knew that I'd have to have probably some extensive work done and really get my teeth up to par, so we found Dr. Stavato. I first came here, my husband came, and we've been thrilled with service and the dentistry that we've gotten. And we've been so thrilled with them that we actually started taking our children here. And they've been wonderful with them. They're very kind to them. The boys came, they were a little nervous because it's different than the dentist they've been going to. But they've been so wonderful. They love coming and they get their teeth cleaned and then there's a treasure box for the children and they get to earn a ball and all kinds of prizes. So they really enjoy coming also. We have a little bit of everybody coming in. We have families, we have children, a lot of teenagers. When new patients come in, the first thing that I would do is interview them just to find out a little information, whether they're fearful of the dentist, things that they may have issues with, allergies, sicknesses, if they have financial issues, so I'll help them find a budget to fit you know, the dental work in their plan, and then I tell the doctor that so he knows how to treat the patient. Okay, Mike, are your teeth sensitive at all? A little bit, yes. Um, and what are they sensitive to? Hot? Um, no, more cold cold and sometimes uh, even using the toothbrush. I came to Dr. Travato. I had a huge space between my two front teeth. I had a tooth that was missing a filling for years. I really was delinquent in going to my dental visits. I've got a new job and I just had to start visiting the dentist and he changed my life. So I got the Invisalign procedure. It brought my teeth back together. I really boosted my confidence in the way I looked the way I look out towards life, I now have a fiance. We can do most everything with traditional methods. We may be able to do them more efficiently and in some cases better with some of the more high-tech devices, but the reality is most offices aren't going to invest in that kind of technology, so they do have to understand different ways to treat using different methods. There's no one method that I would say is so superior to any other. Now, in addition to doing fillings with this laser and cutting holes in teeth, I could do a number of other things. By changing the tips on this laser, I can do root canals with it. I can actually get down into the root and get all the way to the end of the root, clean out the material, disinfect the tooth with this, and do root canals with the laser as opposed to using any of the traditional techniques. 
I could also use this for extractions, which I've done in, in the past, by placing a longer tip on this. I could actually take the tip of the laser and go alongside the tooth, down along the root, and remove a thin layer of bone all the way around and then lift the tooth out nice and gently. Dr. Travato is very precise in what he does. Because I've been coming here so long and I know how wonderful and caring man he is and the staff is very professional, I asked him if he'd do me a favor and I had a girlfriend who her daughter was getting married and her mouth needed help. She had a lot of work to be done. So I came to him and I asked him if he'd please help out in this case. And he saw her and she did have a lot of work to be done. And in six months time, he completely did her whole mouth. I went to the Met wedding, because she's one of my oldest, dearest friends, and she looked like a movie star. Now, facial resculpturing is a combination of techniques that I used in order to achieve the contours of a person's face. The goal is to achieve a more youthful, more rested appearance. Traditional techniques such as Botox and fillers, uh, we're pretty familiar with them. We can relax the muscles with the Botox. We can fill in voids with the fillers. But another thing I use to combine in that are mesotherapy techniques using lipo dissolve or fat dissolve, especially under the chin and under the eyes where we have fatty deposits we can actually help a patient to lose those areas and sculpt the chin out. We can actually lose fat from under the chin, lose some fat from under the eyes, and actually treat an entire face this way. In keeping with the entire appearance and the entire patient, not just a pretty smile, but a pretty smile in a pretty frame. One patient walked in, and he walked back out. And five minutes later, he comes back in, and he says, I'm sorry, I, I, did it. I thought I was in the wrong place because it smells so nice in here. The minute they walk through the door, they are greeted with a scent of lavender, which is very, very soothing. And we diffuse lavender throughout the office. We diffuse Young Living products, which are very natural. They're 100% natural, very soothing. It definitely helps the patients relax. They walk in, they sit down. That's their first, that's our first step into calming the patient down, letting them know it's gonna be okay, don't be nervous. And then they go to meet Dr. Travada. We get a lot of referrals from our patients, and they basically come in and say, "Oh, you know, so and so came, was here as a patient, and he recommends Dr. Travada." So we do get a lot of positive feedback from his patients, and they keep coming back. Some patients have been coming here for 20, 30 years. And what this laser does, it actually reflects laser light into the tooth, and then takes a reading back and any changes that occur uh, with the wavelength of the light, the computer reads that and gives me a numerical value. Okay. So using that numerical value, I'm able to see if there's any changes taking place in the tooth. I can see them a lot earlier than I could with other methods, including x-rays. 80% of the adult population has periodontal disease in one form or another at some point in their life. Uh, there are about 6,000 periodontists in the country, so there really aren't enough periodontists to treat all of the periodontal disease. The general dentist really does have to get into it and treat it. So I've been treating periodontal disease since I've been in practice, and my father for many years before that as part of our regular protocol for patients. But a lot of patients aren't going to go and see a specialist and have surgery done for a number of reasons, cost, fear, whatever anxiety they might have. So it does behoove a general dentist to understand how to treat a patient for periodontal disease. You know, in these troubled times economically, People are so concerned about money these days. What do you find that you can do to help them when it comes to the cost of dentistry? Prevention is the way to do it. A person who goes every six months for regular cleaning and maintenance and checkups are going to have much fewer problems, therefore a much lower cost for dental care. And there you are, an inside look at how the use of lasers and other advancements in technology have actually changed the practice of dentistry today. I'm Doug Llewellyn, reporting from Kearney, New Jersey. Well, that does it for this edition of Close-Up on America's Business. I'm Janice Marie. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time.